on this episode featuring the Maverick 1000. Matt did a front roll. Matt thinks he can straighten out that roof. That's unbelievable. Send it Sunday. I just cut the front section off. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm actually driving Matt's car right now. If you guys watched the last video, you saw we sent the Maverick full send, Matt. <laughs> front the thing ran amazing so if you guys saw matt did a front roll <laughs> he literally did a front roll i kind of can't believe it's not in horrible condition so matt thinks he can straighten out that roof you know i thought about would it really make sense to put a new roll cage on there i don't think so and by judging by how much fun we had with that thing yesterday i think we're gonna hang on to the maverick for a little bit take it for a few more rides at least and I don't, I don't think it would be wise to spend like 600 to a thousand dollars on a new roll cage because realistically man those things are made to roll and it's very possible that it may happen again so we're gonna see if we can straighten it out and that's a pretty handy dude um he's pretty capable and he's got a forklift he's got a lift and everything so he thinks that we can straighten that out and i bet you we can make it look like it never even happened and then i'll have to figure out what i'm gonna do with the roof because the corner snapped off i'm not really sure if i can revive that and make it, I could probably make it look okay, but I might just go ahead and make an entirely new roof. Uh, Matt said he might be able to get me another piece of that plastic, very similar, and we'll just remake the roof. So I'm gonna hightail it there now because apparently he's already started work and I think he's got the roof and the light bar off already. So I'll see you guys there. So we just got to Matt's and this is what the plan is. You can see he already got the light bar and the roof off. It really doesn't look that bad. Um, but yeah, so the, it looks like the impact is right in the middle. And it's directly down too. It's not going backwards. So we got a car lift. And Matt thinks it's gonna take it right out. I hope so. Does that look about right? About the center? Where um where you you can see where the light bar or the uh, roof clamp was. I'm pretty sure that was the center. <laughs> It is, dude. It's bend. It's bending, but the whole machine's lifting up. You're still. You're still. You can still lift. But it, I think it straightened very slightly. Yeah. It's it, dude. It's bending. It is definitely bending. You're off the ground. Um, this is going to sound really dumb, but uh. <laughs> Why don't Mike and I sit in it? That's 500 pounds. It is 500 pounds. Just almost. All right. And you know how to operate. It's like, <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, man. Dude, I, yeah. watch, I watch that video over and over and over again, like, reenacting it in my head, and I'm thinking, if you watch, like, 
I landed, I was on the ground for like legitimately one second before like the drop off. Yeah. And I think like the suspension compressed a little bit and then like as I went You're over. Kind of it, hovering. Right. And then like I basically endowed down the hill and then that whoop in the middle like sent me overboard. Because you have the good footage of like the, the area where it all happened. Yeah. Like how high would you say that hill was? Where you went down? Yeah. It was pretty steep and it was pretty long. Well, it, like and it, was, I, it was whoopy. That was. There was three whoops that were like top, the middle, and the bottom had like. A, yeah, that's what that's what they did. I think you're right. Like the suspension, all the preload was out of the suspension. You yeah. kind of hovered over the edge, but your wheels were on the ground. Yeah. And then you went downhill, and then it probably compressed, and, and then, then boing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah shit. I, I'm like, uh, honestly, for what happened, you cannot be happier with this. Really, the only casualty was the roof. And then these brackets go up there. We're going to put the light bar on and then just run it without the roof today. Yeah. I mean, we'll get a new piece piece of material and, you know, at least that's 99% in one piece, you know, together so we can use it as a template. Oh, yeah. So that'll be no problem. Dude, I remember having this pie wedge in my hands in the, in the coal banks and I was like... I just threw it because I was so irritated myself. <laughs> I should have saved it. I would have had every piece to the puzzle. I really, I can't believe how well the bed liner held up, though. I mean, that's prep, dude. Everybody's always giving me shit for spray paint, dude. That's spray on bed liner right there. Oh yeah, dude, it's all in prep, and it definitely shows. I mean, obviously, this is like equivalent to having like a screwdriver <laughs> scrape across. Bed. Dude, more than that, <laughs> it's I like have, gouged. I have a screwdriver. Ripped out the other side. That's unbelievable. It's like it never even happened. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Dude. Send it back to the rental company. I seriously just can't believe how well that fixed. And I just can't believe the light bar didn't break. I'm very sorry. It's all that resealed job you did. <laughs> light bar for the win. Mr. Done. Jones. Done. All right. You're all famous right. now. Okay. Do you believe this? Did you hey, see? Mom, take him, mom, did you see how this was? Yeah. It straightened right out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, that's what we do. Yeah. Um, I would say that's Jones fixed. Jones destroyed and Jones fixed. <laughs> so he's gonna take Anthony for the first rip. Anthony's another one of our buddies. So he's never ridden in this thing yet. Send it Sunday. Rip it, dude. Yeah, dude. You should put the four point harness on. I feel like it. I feel like it. It's like more of an experience when you got the harness on. It really is. Yeah. I think that looks pretty damn straight. Even in comparison to a light bar.
All right, dude. Well, I'm happy with that. Fixed. <laughs> Jones to the rescue <laughs> with the car lift. We were just joking about that. <laughs> like thousands and thousands of dollars worth of tools just made this such an easy fix. All right, guys, quick update. I'll show you what I did with the roof and it's already dirty. That's because I've already taken this thing out ripping now that I've repaired everything. You can see everything is nice and straight now. You'd really never know. And you can see the front of the roof. I just cut the front section off and I had just enough of that plastic stuff that I had cut off from the front and the back that I could make a new piece and I bolted it on. Everything is super solid. You'd really never even know it. I think it kind of looks like it's supposed to be that way. Uh, the light bar is nice and straight. Everything looks really good. So yeah, like I said, we actually already took this thing riding again. We went to the Pine Barrens and man, we had some awesome trails. So there will be a video on that shortly. And I saw in the comments section from the riding videos, uh, some people were really mad at Jones and uh, saying it was like disrespectful and stuff that he crashed the machine and all. But dude, anytime that uh, you're willing to hand the keys over to a buddy, you got to be prepared for stuff to happen, man. It's just a part of the sport. And you got to remember, it's not like this is my daily driver and I'm, uh, you know, depending on it every single day. And, you know, Matt just totally, you know, ripped the machine, you know. This is a sport and uh, you know, we, we, this is like a part of it, you know, like you get, there's accidents and no matter who it would have been or even if it was worse and it was more damage, I still wouldn't have been mad because you know what, dude, you get mad at a situation like that and it, you don't, it doesn't get you anywhere. All you gotta do is just fix it. Um, so this was a super easy fix. You saw we were able to handle the roof. I, I really couldn't believe that we fixed the, the roll cage so easily. Even when I think back on it now, it's still kind of like, it's like a miracle. It's like you got like in an accident and you got out, there was no dents or anything. That's what it feels like to me because I, I just thought this was gonna be so expensive to fix. But the accident happened on Saturday. Uh, I met up with Matt on Sunday. We repaired the roll cage. And then on Monday, I repaired the roof, let the bed liner uh, re-dry. And uh, I had the roof mounted up on Tuesday. So it was just a couple days recovery time almost zero dollars uh you know i'm lucky that matt has that car lift and stuff so it didn't cost me anything to do that uh, really all it cost was the hardware to put the bolts in the roof and uh, a little bit of bed liner so it was like uh like 30 dollars. i think it was two cans of bed liner and like 10 dollars in stainless steel hardware so that's it man uh you guys will have to let me know in the comments section below you think this was a quick recovery a good recovery uh i'm just like super super happy um, but yeah i will have that video uh in the pine barren some really cool footage out there that it was one of the best riding spots i've been to in a while and i want to do kind of like a recap of how this thing's running and now that i have some seat time we have like 10 hours of seat time on it now and uh now that i've actually got to get to know the machine and see how that belt temperature sensor works and stuff i can kind of give you guys some feedback on you know things maybe i would have done differently on this project or and things that i, I like the way they are and i have some more future modifications too plus guys there is an update on Project 250R. I'm gonna give you a very small sneak peek. And I'm only doing this because it's Memorial Day and I love you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what the? Holy hell, oh wow. Yeah, man. The uh, powder coated stuff came back. So I have it all boxed up here. I'm gonna be tearing into this ASAP and there will be a video this week showing you all the powder coated parts and it's time to start building Project 250R. Okay, guys, happy Memorial Day. Thank you to everybody that serves. And I uh, want to give an extra special thank you to those that we have lost. Uh, just don't forget, today is Memorial Day, and that is what we're commemorating today. So, all right, guys, peace out. I'll see you in the next one.